welcome back to the drop zone. Now, last week, during one of our many, many rambles, uh, we started talking about some of the BattleBots toys that we had whenever we were younger. Yes. And I said, oh, there's probably some still knocking about that I own. Turns out I do, and uh, here they are. So I've decided to put them all on the table, and they will uh, complement the uh, the new generation. It's almost like the old generation looking upon the new, wishing them well, if you will. Um, yeah, so uh, these are some of the ones that I had whenever I was a kid. This is the uh, Atomic Wedgie that I said I had when I was but a child. Uh, I think that's El Diablo, isn't it? That's El Diablo. El Diablo. Uh, Backlash, of course. Which is nice to see. As <laughs> seen on TV. Uh, and this is a Molly. This is a part of the Clutch and Clash. Yeah, yeah. Which I uh, love to just chop the ends off it. You can also see where There's I... There's many fans right now are in wounded going, he got them! Yeah, he but cut wait, them to bits. There's more! Uh, you can also see where I tried to turn it into Typhoon 2 from uh, Robot Wars at one point. Mahler's going to take that's that idea and then go, we should well, put yeah. a triangly tongue there. And uh, a Tazbot as well. The old classics, you've got some over there yes, as well. Yes, My boy. Uh, Ghost Raptors, uh, I think it's Cyber Raptor or... Uh, Claw, Claw Raptor, is it? Claw Raptor? Comments will, one of, one of the will recorrect, it's going, you're wrong. Yeah. Uh, we have... Nyum uh, Nums? Don't know his name? Yeah, me neither. Macadon. <laughs> uh, Macadon, yeah. Macadon, blah. Uh, Loctite, literally. Loctited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Frenzy. Frenzo, Frenzo. Uh, that's another one that's been <laughs> horribly mangled. <laughs> yes, it has, yeah. And uh, Ziggo. Ziggo, yeah. Uh, doesn't it do a spin? Like it does a spin. It. Or, like, yeah. I'd say it's supposed to have the little claw thing on it, but, oh, uh, no, no, no. but I ripped it off in my hatred. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Many of these died. <laughs> and uh, I put the little push strike wave down here as well. Um, just because I could, really, more than anything I else. Can. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I like the push strike wave, and um, I miss it. And I miss them. Yeah, I do miss it. Because uh, we were talking about this offer, but um, there's supposed to be like a beta, a beta, minotaur, uh, a nightmare. Uh, nightmare, yeah, yeah, that never got released, uh, which is kind of a shame. But at the same time, as you were saying, I can see why these can, took can, off. Yeah, can purr, you know, children. Yeah. Like, I don't want this. Why do I want the expensive one? <laughs> anyway, fights. I have one of those too. Do you? Let's see what happens. Oh, Jeez. God! <laughs> Lost Rift. Oh, oh my Christ! Nice. Ah, good idea, keep the arm up. Yep. Let's start this party with a bang, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Not for fucking free ship, and Jesus lives. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I love the fact <laughs> that we had a conversation before the reaction where it's like, oh no, they're, they're fine, they're, all their internal like, like, uh, explosive stuff is right in the middle of the robot. I was made like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. Immediately, like. Um, like. I like the start of the fight very much, uh, the, the bullfighter versus the bull. Yeah. With yeah. free ship, and, like, I like the arm was up as well, keep it out of dangerous length as well, and, and try and steady it too. Uh, yeah, good tactics. That's capture him and yeah, like clamp down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, an uppercut just bounced off it like a little bitch, and you went, "Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay." Cool. Gary Jin knows what he's doing. Oh fuck! I can see with the wedges he had. They put stronger ones on. Not they're not the ones that were on the yeah, yeah. one. They were there. They're to definitely not on it now. Fucking right. <laughs> Like, do you know what this looks like? It's like you put your car in a car derby, right? You, but the, you weren't told about it. Yeah. And you're sitting there watching it getting ripped the fuck, and you're like, ah. Yeah, that's fucked. That's fuck fucked. your wedges. That's the way. <laughs> yep. Please don't kill me anymore. <laughs> I must go to the deck now and run away from you. With Uppercut able to land hits on it, I was expecting them to, to fuck up the wedge. I wasn't expecting them to completely destroy it and rip it off. I was expecting maybe hit the wheels trying to mobilize them that sort of way. The worst part about Uppercut is it just kind of like twangs itself everywhere and, and it's yeah. so unpredictable where it'll go. Uh, as was that fucking explosion, man. Like, holy shit, that is the biggest you, explosion in BattleBots history. Like, I know for a fact someone's going to either watch the Sawblaze one and that and compare. There's no compare. He's struggling with... Oh, oh no, no. I, I spoke oh! I was going to say things. Uh, yeah. Oh God, no. It did a little fire tornado as well, did you see? I didn't see it. It, it, like, it, did, it was like this thin little line that just went And that was just you know, the oxygen getting yeah, sucked yeah. out of the air because the, the fireball was so big. You see, because I've seen the flames hit the roof. Now, Gary Jinn has done it before and he's been told off not to do that. Yeah. Uh, it's not his fault this time. Not no. his fault. That, that 
that it's wasn't a boom. his fault. Yeah, but fair fucks to them because free shipping kept going after that. They did, and then the the, the beach. Oh, he's beached himself out? on the wall. Is it double count out or is it? No, he's still moving. If he oh, was free shipping. You lucky, lucky boy. On that final hit, though, I did notice. Uh, Newton's third law came beautifully oh, into science. play. Yes, science indeed. Where every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and they lost a win. Yeah, uppercut the, the, lost the, a win. The drive just shit the bed. There yeah, and that uh, was it. I was kind of worried because after last week's fuckery with Mammoth and Tombstone, I was worried this was going to be another. Oh look, they're both getting counted out. Judge's decision, which is completely fucking irrelevant because we know who's going to win anyway. Um, but yeah, I think it's because. This was kind of like what Copperhead did, but Copperhead were way more sneaky in how they implemented it, mm. where they're using the gyro of the weapon to kind of yeah, pretend that they're driving, but they're actually crab walking. Uppercut were kind of doing the same thing, as we've seen them do mm. many times before, so that was okay. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's unfortunate that Free Shipping landed at the angle they did, where just none of the wheels were touching the ground, they couldn't self right. Yeah. They were beached. His drive's fucked. Oh, his wheel's gone on one side. Who's gonna get counted out? Oh, well, he's Who's doing the gyro, so... Copper Cut's really starting to be scary. Like, scary, scary. Well, they, they've always they've, been scary. They've always been scary. They are terrifying there, now. There's a little concern. I think that their weapon's far too powerful for the robot. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I, I would tend to agree with you there because, like you say, at the opening moments of the fight, like had Gary Jin been able to capitalize on that, yeah, yeah, then yeah, yeah. Uppercut would have been in trouble for the for the next three months. It's kind of worrying how Uppercut are going here because it's like, how far can we push it before we break it? And it's like you're kind of at that you're limit. You're at that now, limit. You know? You're at that limit. But fair decent, good match. Great it match. Was a fun match. Uh, sorry, Jin. And quick too, so I have less editing to do. Huzzah! Keep doing that. Next fight. <laughs> Sorry, well. Mr. Jin. Uh, you'll have to go and drink some more. Yeah, vodka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we go. You can't circle around, Shadow. Oh, uh, fuck me. Well, this is a fight that was over before it began. I'm not happy. No, Blacksmith did a mistake. Oh. They show the picture of it with the big long forks. You're like, okay, great. Cool. And then he rolls up with those, and I'm like, lad. You're fighting Shatter. Shatter have like long forks. They've got well, little grabby ones. In this fight, they definitely did, yeah. And I like that too. Like, because uh, Peter Abramson, Mr. Bot Whisperer, he explained it perfectly that that was just to keep Blacksmith at the right length so they could bring the hammer over and cause optimum damage. And uh, that's what they did. Ah, uh, Blacksmith weapons fucked. Fucking hell. Blacksmith can't retract his weapon because it's fucked. Uh, Everything went wrong. Like, belt, belt drive broke off, and that, yep. was, that was it. Because, like, Weapon well, chain it, gone for the arm. Gone, sort of. Like, it was stored well, well, it was, for a while. It was mashed, like. It was mashed. Yeah, like, because it didn't fire for the rest of the fucking fight. Uh, I love Shatter's new axe design. I think it's great. I, because I know that they watch this. And <laughs> oh I, my. I'd like to think that they come up with this idea, idea and design by themselves because we're fucking idiots. Mm -hmm. But what I've always hated about axe, is say we'll, we'll, we'll take beta here. Uh, what I hate is the fact that, well, this one never fucking fires its weapon anyway. But, but anyway, uh, <laughs> But yeah, what I hate is whenever the, the axe comes over and a robot's too close, it'll just have the bar of the axe handle, like, twat mm. against it. Yeah. You know, like, it'll not get the full impact from the range. head. So I've always said there should be some sort of axe set up where they have little barbs the whole way down the arm. So mm. when it comes over, it doesn't matter how close or how far away an opponent is, they'll still get damage. Yeah. You know, like, I said that during the Shatter vs. Malice fight last year. You did, and then and they've listened. Yes, good on you. Even though I got your fucking names wrong during the, the YouTube fight, but uh, I, I, all, I'm an idiot. You see, I don't go by names. I just go by expressions. And the man who's angry lost, man, the man who's lost his hotel, yeah. he has he's lost his luggage on the plane. Uh, he was he was proper weapon crazy at this one. Yeah. I want to see more of the camera angle of those two going like because I I feel like a John Reed moment going like wait 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 don't fire the weapon fuck you don't yeah. keep going. No, I think he's the opposite where he's like fire 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 doesn't matter if it's a good hit just fire. hit the fucking floor fuck the floor. <laughs> the drop zone. Ah! The floor is not happy. Ow. The one good hit the blacksmith did was bend the. Mary Moo, Mary, Mary Sue. Sue, Mary Sue, yeah. out of shape, and there wasn't a lot of connective hits. Is, uh, is Shatter's hammer twisted? 
No, no. Uh, the belt broke off uh, the axe on blacksmith, so it's... Uh, oh, great! So no, no uh, weaponies. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's literally just... The, the chain's also buggered as well. A still circular spinner that's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that's your weapon. Even when blacksmiths were behind them. They yeah. could just bring the arm back and, and still get in damage I've points. never seen that in an axe bot. Yeah. I've never seen an axe bot do that, so... Fuck me, fur dudes and the ingenuity of, of that. Like, Fuck yeah. Like, Shatter keeps getting better and better. All it needs now is Definitely. the Omni Wheels to be gone. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Well, Come. I mean, the Omni Wheels is what helped them so much in this fight because, yeah, Blacksmith, they lost the weapon quite early on. All they had was a flamethrower on the back of an arm that no longer moved. Yes, um, But they had really strong drive. Now, I like the Alt Kindle's tactic. Once the weapon went down, what do we rely on? We have superior drive. We can grab them. We can push them into walls, try and get some damage points that way. Try and push them into the pulverizers. It didn't pay off for them, but I like that's what he was doing. I mean, they're getting aggression points but that's about it I think Shatter's done enough here Shatter yeah because like they've just completely well they've, tuck, the they've, they've right. tuck out the weapon and Al couldn't do anything else at the start of the battle I think he knew we've done a fuckery here we, we've put too small a fork on yeah. this uh, they've got longer forks they've got better reach with their weapon as a result so what we're gonna do is try and go around the sides can't do that with Omni Wheels because they no. literally can turn on a dime. Yeah, yeah. Like I will say to the committee, good matchup. This was a really good, like good it, little it back was and forth. Great. It was good seeing axe versus axe. Yeah, I don't think we ever had that really before in battle bots. We haven't had enough axes. God, that's <laughs> right. There more are. axes. More axes. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Ah, Master Kenobi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I just pray the next time Al doesn't. Just burn those four scrap. Like yeah, the crap. Like too small. Yeah, no light. Bigger, yeah. medium, not too big. Just yes, small but squish. Yay! The Burgers. crab bot wins. <laughs> yeah. And I'll walk out going, "This fucking bullshit, man!" <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye, mini bot. It's been tons of fun for P1 so far this tournament. That's that's two now. Yeah. Do yeah. nothing to pay one, the forward hench flippy flipper of flippy goodness. Doing us proud, man. See, uh, mini bots and cluster bots and, and all this carry on. They're so hard to get right. And okay, fair play to Jaeger because I know they're very compromised. Mm -hmm. Because one of the bots that was supposed to make up this team of four horsemen, but a different name, uh, th they weren't here. Yeah, another team who's been affected with the, most of the UK team ha couldn't make it because of issues. I think, if I'm correct, there's meant to be a vertical ver a version. So there's like an overhead saw bot, there's the undercutter, and there's a vertical. I could be wrong. I know there's a picture somewhere, but, you know. Yeah, and that's uh, been replaced that's by Gassy Cat in disguise. Yeah, yes, yes. But it's, it's nice the fact that it, like one member of the team could get their Danby uh, team helped out as well, and so did Big Dill's team. Yeah. So it's nice that... It shows nice camaraderie in the, in the community where it's like, it hey, look, your robot's working, that's good in here. And you need it as well, whenever you, you have three, what, middleweights? Yeah. Farting about the arena, trying to cause damage. I mean, um, like, I saw the matchup for this and I was like, any other time, if this was P1's first fight, I would have been, ooh, that could be a problem. But we've just seen P1 take out Valkyrie, one of the deadliest undercutters in the field. And then you have Captain Mountain Dew. What the fuck's it called, the, the undercutter? It was a toe, toe rag come at it, and I just went, nah. <laughs> now, give credit where credit's due. They did do some damage where that like, gassy cat. Like, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, like, may I remind you, after getting punted like a football. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> which I loved. Though, those guys know how to make a durable beetle weight. Like, that, that they is, do. That is some durability. That's there. a like, great D2 kit. It is. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, Many bots underneath it. No! Oh, he's gone for the wheel! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck you, mini bot, you little bastard! Fuck oh off! Oh my god! Good lad! <laughs> uh, the thing I love about Jaeger is that like, like, we have seen Jaeger, a version of Jaeger before. Yes. Back in 2018 when we were in uh, the Dutch robot games. Yes, in Belgium. In Bouljam. Someone, God love them, decided it would be a good idea to let us host a fucking live robot combat show. It was great. Come on, boys, this hasn't been called yet. Come on. Oh, oh nice. That was nice lovely. That was lovely. Oh, yeah, you did a badness. We're off track. We're off track. Sorry. It's all gone mad. It's madness. 
Anyway, anyway yes. Yeah, Med- right. uh, you were saying yeah. something about things. Yes, exactly. So I, the the Jaeger team with the little sawbot, uh, I got me big vibes off his featherweight where it has... That we little, commentated That we done the commentators right, overs. Uh, I liked it. I liked the, the deep pinky colour. Yeah, it's great. Like anything that's a, a control bot with, uh, with a hammer saw sort of cutty saw design, I like. And I like Scorpius, brother. I like Sawblaze, I like this. So only, <laughs> only it's small and squish. See, the best part is, you've got the older brother of Saw, you've got the middle brother of Scorpius, and the wee PP1 going, Let's go I back. can do it I too. want to be just like you. P1. Junior, no! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a mini Sawblaze and Scorpius. Oh no, I fell right? over. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really can't. <laughs> brother, no! Hey, brother. Brother, stop hitting me! Brother! Mm-hmm. I like that Gassy Cat, in disguise, got underneath P1 and, and high centred yeah, them. Yeah. And that allowed the, the, the saw blaze looking one, well, let's be honest, it's not as good, the, the Scorpius looking one, to come on. <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you choose your words, buddy. <laughs> Continue! To come over and take out one of the wheels in P1. Kill that little fucker, go on. Little mini Valkyrie, you've beaten the bigger one. And the undercutter did And, and the undercutter as well. Yeah. So it was a nice wee team so, there. So that was good, and I like seeing cluster bots whenever they do things like that and they team up and there's a good synergy there. Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever it's not and everything's just like, oh, fuck it, you're all on your own. P1 was just so easily capable of taking them out. Yeah, the sad part about the, the little sawbot one, I can't say it right, that was a bit of a. I don't know yeah. if that was the forks that couldn't do it or the weapon just died. I loved with Toe Bastard as well. That <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, like, that's the new name for it. I can't remember. All right, it was the fight was too quick. But yeah, like it's like it gets flipped over. Jaeger, part of Jaeger. All right, it's not my fault you called your robot three fucking different things. Just Jaeger part one, Jaeger part two, and the other one. That's all you need to call them. Stop the shit, all right. Well, anyway, so that's like fucking Germans. They're too fucking efficient to like, no, each part of the robot has to have its own designation. See, if it was me, it would just be like Jaeger 1, Jaeger 2, and the third bastard. And that would be it. But That's why you're not allowed to name things. <laughs> I know. I've already thrown the fucking thing on the floor, so I can't distract myself. Anyway. Oh, bastard. I'm caught in a loop. Here's oh, fuck Oh, me. my God, yes. Right onto the deck. Yes, Toe Bastard was fucked up onto the screw, or the shelf, the fucking, deck. the deck. <laughs> fucking Jesus. They, they were fucked up onto the deck, and I thought, oh my god, that's cool, that's it all over, count them out, job's done, let's go out and have a pint, right? But oh no, through the magic of time itself, a wizard came back from the future and went, nay, this fight must go on longer because of reasonings. So it decided to use its magic spells to bring that part of Jaeger back to the floor again and continue the fight, which was pointless because they ended the fight back in the exact same place. Oh, I guess so. What? Is he back? Yeah. How the fuck? So therefore, even fate hates you. That's, that's what we're at now. That is the level that we have reached. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's dead now. It's caught fire. as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, never, uh, nope. Well, you'll just die. <laughs> That's funny. <fight>. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck my eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> she just beats you like your fucking failures. Go away. <laughs> The German Santos smiles and sunshine. <laughs> I think he's um, from the Netherlands, I'm not sure. If Whatever. <laughs> All I know is Jaeger is German for like warrior or something, isn't it? Oh, is it a German? Oh, I yeah. know. Fucking Jesus. Yeah. Oh, he's burning him. He gonna burn. Ah, uh, yeah, fast step it. So following on from our Hydra's kind of shit now uh, type conversation that we had last time with Endgame, uh, better now, Flippy, Flippy works. Oh that, my god. That wasn't a serious? flip. That's, That's a flip. more like it. It doesn't work well, but Flippy does work now. It flips. It does flip. That a sound, a satisfying flip. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> Waiting um, for the high... Like flip into the deck or something, meh, 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 meh. Still, uh, but you know, it, 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 it did the thing. It's not the holy fuck that we're yeah. used to, but hey, Med- if it works, it works. Because going into this fight, you were adamant. 
that it would just burst into flame. Man, I've I've no. Gruff wouldn't I, need to touch it. I've no confidence in it. I genuinely thought. I know that you'd be in the comments going bastard, yeah. but like I'll troll him good. I'll make a video and call him a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, like I I didn't have hopes because I was sitting going. They have fusions, drive system, like speed controllers, speed controllers in yeah. there. Something's going to go wrong. It technically did with the flipper going. Because he, he, he did say after the fight where he's like, we had some t test box issues and we yeah. want the flip to be high, but you know, we'll, we'll work out. I, I have no confidence. I think the next time I see it, I'll catch fire. Okay. That, that's it. That's I, all I, I think I think it's, it's steadily improving. Steadily getting better. Do you think it'll go up and then down? That was it being up. The He's next up, one's wow. going to be the next one's gonna be down. Fuck me, man, and I'm a dickhead. Like, ah, uh, sorry, <laughs> I, I, I'm Jen. Because like, when someone says that in an interview, where they're like, "Yeah, we're, we're trying to work these issues out," you're like, "Fuck!" Yeah. <laughs> like, like with a high, a, a, a high tier robot, when it starts to struggle, that's a bad juju. Yeah, or they just had a shaky start, and they're trying to brush it off. I mean, like in this fight in particular with Graf. Uh, Gruff is a very powerful control bot, incredibly well driven. Um, like even at the beginning of the fight, because they made a whole fucking song and dance about like, oh, who wins the ground battle? It became this whole fucking thing, and then they had to stick a fucking ad break in right before this fight started because they spent so Lovely much time salads, waffling on about fucking bullshit to do with it. Oh, just, uh, really? You need to make that a whole segment? Of course, we know the fucking ground clearance battle is is the whole big fucking thing, mm. and it's class and it's wild. So like, I liked at the start of this fight. Gruff, you can see the two of them are going, shall I, but no. Gruff was taking the side panels off, that, that one part that stops you from getting underneath height. Yeah, I saw apart. that, yeah. So there was a good tactic uh, there. And I went, okay, like, all Gruff has to do is sneak those dirty little forks in underneath, it'll have a forking good time. Ah, uh, one I'll of the wedges are gone. Thing off. Uh, it's not looking good. If Hydra's struggling with the flipper, can they self right with it at that low of a par? I'd say yes, but it'll take a lot of their power. Out of my them. worry would be they do a Bronco, where you know, like they're upside down and they'll flip to self right, but they'll just they'll end up like cartwheeling in the air and landing upside down again. Here's what I would think. Okay, it goes upside down, it flips, catch fire. <laughs> uh, Gruff on fire. Oh, oh, is that a thing? Y yeah, is that man to do that? I think he's fucked the flamethrower where it's pointing down instead of pointing out. I think what happened was, but one of those flips that Hydra got on it, whenever it landed upside down, it's dislodged the flamethrower. Yeah, and that Where it's like pointing downward or pointing upward or something like that, and it's just burning all, its... All went wrong. Yeah, it's burning its interior. Though it kept going, I'm really impressed with Gruff doing that. Like, then Hydra just kept flipping it around all over the show. And then, uh, a thing. Yeah, a thing happened. Now, before we talk about the thing, yes. uh, you pointed out something quite amazing, which was Hydra's new LED system. Yeah, I was no, I thought it was, I, I thought it was actually on fire. <laughs> of course you and fucking I was like, did. Oh, green flames. Oh, wait, that's an LED. And then I went, oh, clever. So I think before, he was, like, you know, he used to do the panic flips. Yeah. He couldn't really see if it was fully, like, ready to go. I think literally the green LEDs are to go, right, it's at full power, go. Because if you notice that when he fires it, it goes off and eventually it'll come back on. So if that is, a, if that's your, the, the LED systems for the flipper, good good job, Jake. You know, like, the way you used to be able to fuck them out of the arena, the way he did with Hypershock? I, like, yeah. tucked into the sidewall and it's fucking on fire? Yeah, uh, Health and Safety wouldn't be too happy with that. Yeah, it looks like these fucking laws came out just the right time. Fuckery ensued, as it often tends to do on the brutal bots. Now, before this season started, there was a lot of shit that came out where they're like, we're changing the fucking rules, we're changing the judging criteria, we're changing the whole battle box, there's going to be a stage on which Neil Diamond can sing his greatest hits. Uh, but, <laughs> but we're also banning Udas. All no Udas, right? all, all like, banned. Now, to get technical on it, which we seldom like to do on this uh, fucking excuse hard. for a, a BattleBots review show. Hard. Now, what they say specifically is that targeted Udas are banned. So, like, if you're deliberately trying to throw someone out of the arena, that's a ban. Now, but they've look got at the coppers now. Yeah, look, looking at this, that looks like it's a deliberate out of the arena. Oh, what? shit! I thought they couldn't get out of the arenas. I thought, yes, yeah, it's banned. He, he broke it, he broke the law. Oh, cancel him. What? Cancel him, Twitter. What? Twitter. What? Twitter, do you think? Tickler, what the fuck? 
I, see, I thought it was a fuck up where they forgot to put the polycarb in that area or something. That's wasn't. never been there. Or is that the open gate where they left the robots? That's it. That, no, no, like literally right behind Graf in that shot. That's the doors that see, you enter next to the arena. Through. This confused the shit out of me because I thought the referee was going to him, you, you're, you, you fucked up, you, you know, that's the. Yeah, because like, you, you see the celebration twice. Like, as soon as Gruff goes o over the wall, you see Jake go, Oh, I fucking did it! And then after that, it cuts back and you see him walking away from what I assume is the referee going, Yeah! So, so I think that confirmed. was like confirmation. Yeah. You know, like, oh, no, it's okay, you're fine, you're not disqualified. It's just confusion. It's like, it's yeah, because they've like, they, they put so much work into this. We're, like, they've covered every square inch of the sidewall so that, um, like, as we say, like uh, Hydra versus Hypershock, where Hypershock were kind of slotted yeah. on the outside of the battle box, that can't that, happen that, no, anymore. No. I think it should have been made more clear that those are out of the arena zones. Mm. Where it's illegal to throw a robot out of the arena in any other corner, but just these corners, they're fine. Fuck a robot over that wall. You've won. Yeah, that would have been nice. No, but, but it's but just that. It's confusion. It's from, and it's from just all this box on the internet as well. People are like, oh, the band dude is uh, flippers are fucked. You know, like, oh, why, why is the, the upper deck there? Oh, it's because they've burned out of the arenas, so you flip a robot well, up there. Well, just clearly showed that that's total shit. Yeah. So. So, is it illegal? Is it not? I'm not so like, congratulations, Hydra, but. Ah! Someone has more intelligence than us needs to work this out. I thought that really was. Like, yeah, they were like, no idea they read us anymore. Bad, bad. Beyblades, yep. Beyblades. <coughs> Fuck off, get up to speed, and spin, then spin, smoosh. spin, spin, spin. Beyblades, be oh. Let them rip. No. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's what we were expecting going into this. This was probably the fight I was looking forward to the most out of this yeah. week's picks. Because uh, I expected three months of just hockey pucks and Beyblades and just smashes. Yeah, yeah I, like, I, I'm, I'm happy I, I, my, I, my thought process worked because I didn't know what uh, configuration that Shredder was going to go into, but I know that they have the Wings of Freedom, I think it's yes. called. And if they had those... It's not two struts of metal, it's a beacon of freedom! Yes, it was! And it was doing a job, it was doing a really, really good job. Oh, uh, there he goes. And uh, th things Badness. Happen. And I do yeah. really gut wrenchingly feel bad for him. I couldn't give a shit. I know you do. Horrible, <laughs> horrible. No, no, no. I, I do. I feel bad because I like Captain Shredder either. Yeah. Like it's a fucking kick ass design. I think they've had a terrible run of it in past competitions where just either out of nowhere the magnets go, oh, is that the floor? Uh. Oh, thanks, Phil. <laughs> but uh, what the fuck, Phil? Oh, never mind. Right. Oh no, it was one of the Ghostbusters. Never mind. He's dead anyway. But, uh, but yeah, <laughs> like their magnets go, oh floor, bang, right? Or something bad happens, and the, like the clutch goes, oh, I'll, I'll engage for fuck all reason. Uh, and then over the last couple of years, it's been like, oh, well, that's been happening less, and it's getting better and better. And oh my god, the like, Shredder is actually class to the point where it took out Tombstone. Yeah. A yeah. couple of episodes ago, and it's like, oh my god, Shredder Raider's actually delivering on the promise. And seeing that, I was going like, like history in the making. Like, if it had a talk out Gigabyte, that's two of them veteran legends. Like, once you take them out, like I know, like Shredder Raider is a, a veteran and a very, very, very revered veteran. But I mean, like, to take out like another full body spinner, like that is great. Oh, ah, 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 oh, ah, I hit the wall. Ah, 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 ah. I did love the tactic he had, if, it, if unfortunately the gremlins didn't happen, was once he lifts Gigabyte up in the air, it was straight under and then just maul, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like a blender, side. just, just mince all the, the pieces. Further to Gigabyte, because my concern for Gigabyte was the, as I call it, the UFO sheet. The flat sides. Yeah, yeah. I thought they were going to come in with that. I'm very happy they went in with the last season's shell. Yeah, the one that's more sort of like flat yeah. and angled. So there's out. a lot of proper like thought process yeah. into the shells. But I mean, like, like looking at the, the first couple of initial heads, Gigabyte were coming off the worst for wear from those. Yeah. Because it was doing the bunny hop thing. And where I was going like, you know... Oh! <laughs> And landing again. Which yeah. we've seen how bad that happens with the Hydra fight. Like if it yeah. hits it, boom, spark, slam, goes, and that's all. I was expecting that to happen. It's just unfortunate. It's, it just... It is. And, and do you know what? I'll, I'll be completely honest. I feel bad for Brian Navi. No! Is he no! dead? No! Oh, Shredder, you were doing so well! After the line that he came out with. Yeah. You know, just like everyone fucking expects. Yeah. Shredder is dead once again. It's like, shit happens. 
Yeah, so that's don't what the faults happen. But don't let the don't let the community or the online yeah. community presence get under your skin. It's very fucking easy for dickheads like us to sit here and go, "Oh, you robot shit, and you should feel bad," you know, or, or, call, or go like, "Oh, that robot shit, it never fucking works." Or I should it's retire. Like, well, no, that's it does right. fucking work. We've seen it work. It took out Tombstone a couple of episodes ago. It was shut it the was fuck up. Inches away, taking a gigabyte. Yeah. Bah, man. Oh, dude, over before it started. Shit happens, like the T-shirt says, because um, it just stops. Mm. Like you just see it switch off, like where the drive goes, and because of the the kinetic energy of the weapon, it's still spinning. But there is no new power going to that weapon. It is dead. See, I think this is a as what Navi had said was that it's the receiver. Like the receiver went. Yeah. Like the radio signal just stopped, and once we had that, we're we're just. Yeah, I wonder what that's like. <sighs> One little tiny wire. One little tiny wire can just make your entire robot shut off. And We've takes, been there, man. We, it, we know. It, yeah, it takes thirty seconds for it to reboot and I, rebind again. I'm still in that situation. Every time I make an app, I'm going, it works. Oh, oh fucking hell! And yeah. You win. Because <laughs> I'm better than you. But yeah, I'll get it, man. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it is. It, it's fucking annoying. I was really looking forward to that fight, and I, I can understand the frustration. Like, and I'm sure Gigabyte had that frustration as well because you don't want to win like that. No, you, you want like, a proper good smackdown of a battle. Well, as as John said from the Gigabyte team, it, it's just outlast, and like this is like like you're perfectly matched. It's like yeah. who's going to outlast who, and you just hope it's you. Yeah, the unstoppable force, the immovable object. Yeah, and, and that's why I was looking forward to this fight so much. Well done, Gigabyte. Well done, but ah, uh, congratulations, man. He, he he was actually making him pop. He was, yeah. It's a shame. It was great while it lasted, but it just didn't last long. Yeah. And hopefully, like you, my if, love life. If the meet again, if they meet again, we, we we hope that you know we see it. Let's move on. This is a we fucking on the bed today. Next fight. What a bastard! <laughs> Damn. Man. Well, that sucks. <laughs> ah, box right No. Doing an avoidance. Holy oh fuck. shit! He ruined the flipper. I remember a robot called Duck. Do you now? Jesus, she was wild. Right. <sighs> How was that? It was this robot, right? And it was milled from a single brick of fucky metal that I forget the name of. And it was just fucking class. And I could take these fucking class hits. It had this lovely big weapon at the front of it that was just like a massive barrier. And it would stop even the high powered spinners. It would protect its front wheels. It had a little baked, it couldn't really lift too well, but just the defense was on point. Nowadays, I don't know what the fuck this is. Where it just, it's a little front quacker, because it's not even a lifter, it's just a little meh, right? Mm -hmm. Can get just fucking annihilated by a complete novice, of a full on newcomer to, to BattleBots can make a veteran robot and a veteran team look like a bitch. I have said this before, I don't like this new version of Duck. I know you don't like this new version mm. of Duck. We've got a lot of people in the comments saying they don't like this new version of Duck either. I would be amazed if Hal Rucker still liked this new version of Duck as well. Oh, I've broken oh. up heart. Oh. His beak has now been de-beaked. Like, you've got to look at this and go, this was a mistake. I think uh, Hal must be after the dri the drives kind of buggered up on him in the first fight, and now the beak that you've painstakingly put together has just been shredded. shredded. I think this will probably be the last time we see this version. I think there'll be Hopefully. a whole new version that uh, can take the, yeah. the hits and keep on. I going. mean, the last one it may not have got too far competition-wise, but it did well enough to get a toy. Yeah. Albeit a toy that doesn't really work properly, but still a toy nonetheless. Hmm? It was recognisable. All you had to do was build on its strengths, but instead of. The, it just feels like they've really downgraded this robot, and I don't like it. There's a drive away as well. It looked a little bit uh, rickety. So they have their little thing where they do the whole duck thing. Yeah, a little quacker. It's like in wrestling, you know, like when the gimmick becomes more, uh, like takes away off the, the performance. I can see where you're you know coming where, from. Where I mean, where yeah. it's like, we want to do Let's make the robot do that. We want to do this kid friendly because it's the next generation that keeps these things going. Yeah, and it's recognizable as well, and it can be on brand and on fleek and on yeah. point. And now, not said, the ingenuity behind it is like, Hal's fantastic when it comes to stuff like that, yeah. but it feels like the gimmick 
has now merged Overtaken into the, the, robot. To the uh, yeah. performance. Is yeah, that man. thing actually quacking? Yeah, it's Newton. No, no, so it's no. Pengu more than the yeah. duck. I could be wrong, but that's what I... I'm well, I mean, based on this fight, that, like, this was just what the fuck even. Like, I mean, okay, fair enough to Dragon Slayer. They're a new team, brand new to the battle box. Did really, really well. Yeah. But even, like, after a couple of minutes with their weapon not up to full speed, they were still outperforming Duck. Like, there were a couple of moments where Duck was able to grab them, push them around. Because Duck is a control bot. That's what it's designed to do. But just that, like, that opening hit, it just told you everything about what the, what the rest of this fight was going to be. Do you know what the rest of this fight reminds me of in boxing? Do you know at the very end of the, the, the final round... And yeah. the boxers just are holding on to each other. Well, they said that in the punching. commentary, didn't they? Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it, it felt it, like that, that they're holding each other up and pushing each other back, and there's a little you know, push back and forward. Uh, yeah, punch, punch drunk. drunk. Yeah, yeah th that's what this, this fight was to me. Like, like the, after that first devastating hit, <sighs> and a couple more at the, the front of Duck, that the, was... Do you know what this fight was? In grave danger of becoming a YouTube exclusive. More fucking yep. saws. Push them back again. Like that wedge in Dragon Slayer is really, really good. It was certainly it was a slog. Mm -hmm. It was a slog. Like, the, like there was that opening gambit where Firefox to Dragon Slayer. They took their shot and they got it. Like the nice low wedge at the front, straight in underneath, got the damage done to Duck's primary weapon. Yeah. Duck had nothing after that. Like a couple of pushes, a couple of rams, yeah. But like you'd even see like the drive because they they mentioned the last time that they were fighting where they had the fuck up with Wedge Doctor that their their drive would, had gone there was something not working quite right there you can see that in this fight as well same thing drive not working correctly mm -hmm. uh, weapons completely fucked and they had nothing for the rest of that fight well dull fight I I, I but have words to it like Dragon Slayer yeah caused the more damage was the more aggressive. Look at this. In the first, it just hit. shredded it. It's not really much to say. Like, good, no. good job to Dragon Slayer, but yeah, but disappointing from Duck. Yeah, that's pretty much. What the fuck, Duck? No more toys for you. Mark Dragon Slayer. Nice way in your debut, like first Welcome box. to the uh, the Madhouse. And then suddenly, when you least expected it. Uh, a lot of comments we got uh, underneath last week's video, which was uh, Hammersaw Havoc Battlebot Season 6 Episode 4 review. So we're just going to quickly go through some of these. So we'll start off with James Sheffield, who says, Long time lurker here. Don't be a lurker. It's creepy. Leave comments. Interact. It'll be a good time. No one will fuck with you. Apart from me. Uh... Long time lurker here, another great video, none of my pals are into fighting robots, and to me, your reviews are like talking about the fights with my mates. This means that your weekly drop zone video is as much a part of my week as BattleBots is. Much love. Love. Yes, thank you very much for but watching. Also, batter your friends into a small closet and watch, have BattleBots. Well, no, make week. friends first, and then convince them to like BattleBots, or make friends that already like BattleBots. What we're saying is dump your friends and get better ones. No, don't be alone. Time is short, as is life. So I love your best one. It's like you're recruiting people. We want you in the army. <laughs> uh, another one as well, Bandit Survivor content. What is uh, it? These names are on fire. Okay. I always look forward to these reviews. You guys are hilarious and keep up the great work. Love from Northern Ireland. Hey! Well, as, uh, as the great Noel Sharky once said, I'll always, always make, make time, time for, for my fellow countrymen. Hey. So thank you very much for watching. Good name, good name. SCP Zilla says, will you ever do reviews on YouTube combat robot shows like Lego Robot Wars or Bash Bots? P.S. If they were to fight, I do think Sawblaze would win the lower wedge and far more powerful spinner. Here's my analysis. They're all amazing, but the problem is we have our own show that yes. takes up so much of our time that we are physically drained to review them. The thing is, I wouldn't feel right reviewing other people's work. No, it's like, it's like because, a school. Because we make our own. We're, we're part of that uh, community, I guess, mm -hmm. of uh, fan-made shows. Yeah. You know, so it, it would be like it's one thing for us to sit here and talk about Ballbots because that's a professional show and there's lots of people work on this and there's money involved and, and you know like it's it's a professional setup whereas with the rest of it it's just um, it's dickheads like us sitting building budget. mad shit and, and we do it all by ourselves and and it's uh, it's crazy madness so I I think it would be very remiss of us to comment on it uh, apart from just say we support it watch everything they're fucking class. That, that's pretty much that's it. That's our message. Bearded Gotlock writes, Nice French, Stephen. 
Nice Go Stephen. Gorlock, sorry. Oh, Beard bearded Gorlock. Uh, nice French, Stephen. Didn't expect my ears to be caressed with my native language in one of your videos. Hey, 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 hey. Much love from Quebec. Keep being awesome, both of y'all. Really looking forward to seeing part of my French 2.0. That lack of stream, I hurt my soul. It hurt my soul, my brains, and one of my testicles, the right one. My God. <laughs> Uh, French Canadian compared to France French is kind of like England English compared to American English. Different accents and lots of different words and expressions, but we can usually understand each other's LOL. Well, merci beaucoup for that comment, sir. Uh, I love this as well. Jack Blackborn Magic says, So imagine the scenario where you two decide to build a 250 pound robot together and enter BattleBots collectively. What would your robot look like? Someone replied, They did. It was called Push to Exit and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Shaky balls. Pyro tails left that one. Pyro tails. I will remember that name because he leaves sick burns. He fucking burnt my off. entire body with that. One. Uh, the file of 1991 says, if you were to get a chance to design a legit new and unique battle bot, what would it be? I'd love to hear some actual discussion and ideas from you two. There's a reply here. A sphere that zaps the opponent with one million volts. Can't I think that's a million. That. You can't There's have a lot of zeros. Um, I had this dream whenever I was a kid of me and my dad going on classic robot wars. Mm -hmm. And I remember like being up in you know, the, the, the elevated booths, mm -hmm. like the, 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 the control booths, looking down. And it was kind of a mix of Mammoth and I don't know if you ever remember uh, Revolution 2. It looked like a big combine harvester. Yes, I remember that. So yeah. imagine a mix of that and Mammoth where it would scoop up a robot and just yeet it out of the arena because uh, the, the classic Robot Wars arena didn't necessarily have arena walls. It may as well not have fucking had because they were that bastard low. But imagine that. So it just like picks up a robot. So imagine like the, the little scooper comes in underneath and as you're driving forward, it goes like that and just yeets a robot and it goes flying out of the that. arena. And I've always kind of had that design in the back of my head and Mammoth is the closest I've, I've seen that come to. Which shows that your theory would have worked perfectly fine. Yeah, because I just I remember the dream so fucking vividly of just being in the control booth and just like seeing like our machine just like, it, it was like a cup, like mm. it would just cup another robot and just and just my reaction was wow, like yeah. being amazed at it was like really big cheese levels of height, you know, back yeah. in the classic robot worst day. But yeah, that's that's the one machine I've always had in the back of my mind that I've I've never built or did anything with. But if I were, I think that's what I would try because I, I'm sick of four wheel drive verts, I'm sick of flippers, I'm sick of axes, I'm sick of all. That. I want to like if I ever were to enter BattleBots, it would be to bring something fucking insane, even if it doesn't work. Just it's not your average robot because mm. that's what I like about. People like Mammoth. It's like fuck it. Let's try something different. See if it works. Uh, yeah. And and it proved people a lot, a lot of people wrong, and they have. Yeah. Good question. What about yourself? What no. would your design be? No. no. Just no. I'm done. <laughs> Just a couch potato now. Uh, Scorpius Battlebot commented, Ooh. saying, "See Hexbug. This is why we need a Scorpius toy." Fuck yes. I second, third, and fourth that. Uh, Alexander the Great says, Hi, your videos are always a highlight of the week, only rivaled by the episodes themselves. I currently make VR videos, but would like to make videos about BattleBots. Any advice? Get a camera, turn it on, start talking bollocks. Yeah, it's as no. simple as that. If you have an opinion on it and you want to voice it to the world, yeah. uh, go ahead. It's very easy to sort of look at it and go, oh, well, you have to have technical analysis, and you have to do this, that, and that. No, no, no. Like, literally, all these videos are, is literally, like, we could not record this and this would still be what's happening. Yeah. Like me and Anthony would sit, we would watch, we would react to the fights as you see the reactions. And we would have conversations like this in the car or sitting in the front room or out at a bar or whatever after we'd seen every episode of BattleBots. So the only difference is we decided, fuck it, let's record it, stick it online and see if people like it. And, so, and, and, it's, and it has and thank you very much for people for watching it. But that's the advice. Turn the camera yeah. on. That's it. Have fun. Like literally all the stuff that you think, all the stuff that you type in a comment section or underneath a, uh, a Facebook thread in a group or on Reddit or whatever just just say that to a camera and put it on the internet and people will watch yeah it's a good time two fat blokes scream at telly please don't stop mm, my <laughs> little belly they aren't even that fat must be their clothes it's my little uh, cake shelf I keep on my cakes here I'm just fat <laughs> <laughs> so someone left a comment saying someone First video from this channel that I've watched and it'll be the last. These two guys are so bloody obnoxious, especially the bearded one. Oh my! Stephen. Um, I, the Stephen. Yes, the, uh, the Stephen. <laughs> uh, you're way too loud. My ears hurt! You guys are not entertaining and not to mention the fake clapping is so forced and cringed. 
Sadly, that's one hour of my life that I won't be getting back. You watched the entire video? And here's the thing, right? Uh, like, we, we don't change. Like, no. like, if you didn't like us in the first five minutes, you're not going to like us in the last one. Do you know what? To be honest, reading this, this all sounds like a you problem. Who's the more foolish? The fools that talk about robots or the fool who wastes an hour <laughs> watching? I know. What? Fake clapping. See, Fake clapping. If you, here's, here's a bit. Instead of making a book, just go fuck you. Yeah. Simple as that. Or, or, just don't. Just, put, <laughs> just, just, just click off. The man, put the keyboard down, walk away. Like, who the, fuck, away. who the fuck forced him to watch an entire hour of us? If you don't like us, by fucking God, you're going to hate us by the end of a video. Maybe he was trapped in a room. Yeah, Maybe this, that was some yeah. sort of torture <laughs> device. Right, right. He, he was having the ice cream and he was about to put that little bit of ice cream in his mouth and the kids yeah. came down and the drops and the Japanese started. spiders yeah. and he's like no <laughs> yeah um, well cheers for that someone is that his name? I would roast him but it's bad for the environment to burn trash it's alright bully, bully. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it I'll fuck his mum and give her a son she can actually love uh, that's a warning to people who put in comments like that into our so, so jokes, jokes, jokes. We don't give a fuck. We, we, no, we, we, we really, we don't give a fuck about hate comments. I just thought that was really funny. Um, <laughs> some guy, you got like, like some uh, recognition. So good job to you, sir. Yeah, well done, some guy. He's not actually not going to even watch this because he's like, he waits. <laughs> no, he won't. Why the fuck did we even bother responding to this? Next fight, fuck it. <laughs> Endgame. Kill it like the rest. Go on, Endgame. Go on. See, the Witch touches. Doctor has to go for the side. No, they're they doing that shit head so head. they want to get the forks caught. Yeah. Fair to say this is another fight that was over before it began? Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, like, I was looking at it going... Earlier tonight, we had the whole shebang of our... Oh, forks, forks, oh, the ground battle. Endgame has forks. They do. Witch Doctor does not. They do not. Witch Doctor is a machine that... Why do you make it so hard for me to love you? <laughs> you know, like, like, that, like that's, that's the only thing I can say about it. Because I really thought Witch Doctor were going to win Season 4. You did. You, I you really, 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 really thought did. they were going to win Season 4. And then Season 5, they had the weapon reliability issues. Season 6... The, <sighs> It's like you were saying about Duck. It's almost like they've sacrificed something to keep the the, the style of the robot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's forks. Or just a feeder wedge. Or, or something to to help that weapon get a good grip on other robots. Because like you look at the start of this battle. And they're trying that old trick of, of trying to go around uh, Endgame. Get Endgame to come to them. And oh look you got caught in a kill saw slot. Mm -hmm. And I can attack you now. Plus, you can see them trying to get around to the sides and back of Endgame, which is not going to happen. Because they knew if they tried the box rush, it would be weapon on weapon, and they weren't sure if Witch Doctor's weapon could take that hit. Little, oh, yeah, I know. Oh, they oh. came off bad from that. Ah, oh, my triangulars! Ah! I'm very concerned that if they have no forks whatsoever, they're in a massive disadvantage. They are. Any machine. They could be to a high tier machine, a mid tier or low tier machine, like they're they're compromised and that's scary. Like mm -hmm. that means that they have to to work extra extra hard in the strategies going into this. Like the, I of all the robots I in pre, like are put under pressure to win a fight or to, to battle is, is Witch Doctor and for sure this yeah. I'm amazed if this robot gets any repairs with the massive, devastating hits that Endgame were given. It was just impact after impact. I mean, what really saw the fight turn in its head is when Endgame clipped the wheel. Oh, no. Ah, uh, uh, Witch Doctor struggling. And bent the... Bent the, 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 the arm. The ply, yeah, yeah the ply bent the ply into the wheel. Because you can see them doing that thing where they're trying to go forward, but they're just, like, going around like, and back and yeah. round and back. Yeah, that's that. Throwing hands. That front wheel on the, yeah. the left-hand side has gone. I think I said it in the reaction, but it was, it was something along the lines of, that's it, the fight's over. Yeah, you, you weren't because, wrong. Like, like, you need to have super whip-smart mobility. Whenever yeah. you're fighting something like Endgame, to stay away from their devastating hit. Like, if you don't, this is what happens. Mm. You get fucking twatted into oblivion. Yeah, you're fucked now, Witch Doctor. You're at the mercy of Endgame. He's going to throw hands. Look, he's got his hands oh, up. Oh, 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 no. Bye bye. Oh. Bye bye. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> he's throwing fucking hands, buddy. Look at this. You're fucking done. 
some of the hits that Endgame will land on this. Like I know in the in the commentary, I think it was Kenny said something like, "Oh, like we're getting flashbacks to the time that they fought uh, Bite Force mm. in the series four grand final." And no, we're not. We're seeing a whole new fucking devastating level here. Mm-hmm. Where Witch Doctor are getting fucking yeeted into the air. Tossed halfway across the battle box into the, the bottom corner. Just absolutely mangled. When they get hit on the plow, if that hadn't have bent into their wheel or messed their drive up, there's that moment where Endgame is literally pivoted in the air. That would have been the kill shot moment. Yeah. And it's... It, for a driver or a teammate, when you see how close you are to that kill shot and you can't get it, that must be the most frustrating thing to have. And then see your robot getting the back end sniped, the wheels sniped, yeah. self riders gone, it's, and then you're. It's that damage whenever it's upside down. Yeah. Like absolutely. you see that back corner of the robot. Like we've had that happen to us with push to exit. Yes, Only it was on the front end. And you know how much of a bitch that is because, like, luckily enough for us, that was bent upward. Mm-hmm. Theirs was bent downward. Yeah. Which meant that, okay, one of your wheels is gone, that's the other one gone. So if, even if they'd got back onto their wheels, I think that's the drive just completely shagged, like it's gone. But yeah, take the soft rider out and that's it. Fuck. Oh, they took hell. the deck off as well. Look. Yeah, they took a panel off the, the hey, wall. Go, 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 go. Put him in the deck. Doesn't need to, he's done. I really think it's time for a redesign. Yeah. I really do. Um, I, 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 I think that those dual disc things, that needs to either be a drum... Or they need to go back to their original skull. One single version. One single. Yeah. L- like Endgame. Yeah. Because Endgame fucking wiped the floor with them in this fight. Yeah, I generally think that. And, and if they're worried about forks, have, like you said, spooky skeleton forks. The spooky skeleton fingers. Yeah, have that yeah, as, just as, as a wedge. That, yeah. Have like an entire skeleton body over it with the hands. Like it's, hol- it's like holding Yeah, it's the, like the hands are out. Yeah, like, like it's, fingers. It's holding the robot. Yeah. And then the thumbs are what's holding the drum. Yeah. Fucking nice. Holy shit. What a launch like. I knew it, like, see once that wheel went. Yeah. That's it, game over. I know this took a lot of work, and I know it's gorgeous, and I I really don't want to see a change, but I think this is now the time. They have to look at this by now and go, if we are serious about this, and if we want to take home a giant nut, which I really, really want them to do, I think this is the time to look at it and go, we need to redesign this now. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you can you can change things around and stuff, but you keep by all means keep the aesthetic. I love it. Spooky. It's great. Yep. It goes down well with features. goth checks. You know, like what can I say? <laughs> and uh, other people that like spooky mad shit are available, including myself. Um, but yeah, I just I think that's that's kind of end of the run for the, this whole buffer thing. Yeah, yeah beta yeah, proved that last year. That's that's a fucking bad call. Uh, Wedgelets are the way to go. Yeah, it's looking that's the way that the sport's going with it, and it it needs to uh, catch up with the times. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Endgame knew that. Oh yeah, with their little twangers, they got stuck up, hunting hands up, shaking hands, ready. Get you, I'll catch like, you. It's like a 1940s boxer. Yeah. Bully, bully, bully! Oh, you I sure as fuck bullied Witch Doctor. I'll tell right, you that. Like, um, I don't think there's, there's much really needed to say for like on Endgame side of things. I will mention this though: is that font on the front of Endgame? Is that Star Trek: The Next Generation or is that Avengers? Star Trek. Is it definitely I'm, Star I'm Trek? I'm Star Trek. I don't think that's that's Avengers. Because there was an episode of Star Trek called Endgame. Oh. But uh, I'll let Red Letter Media tell that story. Yes, do, do, do. Because <laughs> uh, we rip them off enough. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say to you, Witch Doctor. Go fork yourself. <laughs> Put forks in your robot. They yeah, will never do that. You can make them look like little skelly bones. Yeah, little skeletons. Yeah, it'll be spooky. <laughs> okay, it spins. That's a okay. good sign. Okay. Oh, he's underneath. Okay. Good uh, round. Good flippers. Uh, uh. It was very remiss of me not to read it out, but uh, during Comment Patrol Zone, I did happen to note that someone said something along the lines of, if you hated the, uh, the Pardon My French YouTube fight, you've got a fucking zinger on the way this week, lads. Oh, my. Uh, and they weren't wrong, so this was Retrograde versus Rampage. Was it? Um, yeah, just over in seconds. Literally, like they turned them over in seconds and took a wheel off, and that, that's the fight. You see, yeah, like you, you really are hitting the nail on the head. It's like these are little exhibition fights. This was yeah. more of a test. The, there was more build up 
than there was fight. I think like that's, they, a, that's a feature now. They had to happen. do the Bot Whisperer thing as well, and he was like, uh, um. Two boxes, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's the robot. It's going to hit another one. Doesn't really? have a self rider. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Really, really disappointing for uh, Rampage, is it? Rampage. It's the second time they've, they've returned. Who looks like Brutus. Yes, there's... Uh, there's who who Brutus. I miss. I do miss it Looks like Brutus in disguise. It's, um, what the fuck did I say? It's like Brutus with a fake moustache. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not Brutus, so I promise you. I'm I not lie. Brutus. Um, but yeah, it's a 16-year-old driver, isn't it? They, yeah, they, they like, mentioned. Like, I like, so he's, he's new he, to the sport. I like the fact that this is the, the second time they've been BattleBots. And then it's a massively improved design. I like the fact it's got four wheels, a big, massive scoop. Yeah. The weapon... So it's four-wheel drive vert. But bound to do well. We yes, it's true, it's true. But its weakness is the lifty forks, and that worked perfectly in this fight for the yeah retrograde. Game. Yes, um, who is split off from the uh, team? Blood sport. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, um, really cool. I like it. I like that we're starting to see robots with multiple sort of weapons. I know, like they mentioned something like it was supposed to have a flamethrower as well, but a better decision. Jaffix happened. Yeah. Uh, they wouldn't do it. Um, but I like it. I like that it. it's got like the one weapon on the front, one weapon on the back. Reminds me of uh, the days of yore, the days of old, yes. you know, where you would see robots in the classic series and then Robot Wars and all as well, where you would have like a flipper on the front and a spinner on the back or something like that. Or like well, or forks and an axe. Forks and an axe, <laughs> yeah. It's really great to see a robot designed like that enter into current series BattleBots. Yeah, it did well in this fight, but I think that was against an opponent that uh, kind of lacked experience, kind of lacked uh, yeah. uh, power or anything like that. I don't know how well they would do in this series regular, but in this fight, yeah, it was a really good, really strong performance. Uh, knew what they were doing, got in underneath the wedge, flipped them over, took off a wheel, a a fuck, wheel. fuck's sake, with mm. their undercutter, and that was all she wrote. Like, it was so fast. So fast, but I'm very curious to see them fight, like in the series what they'll do because I really want to see that undercutter because like the best undercutter we have is Valkyrie this one I'm like okay oh and, and Robot too don't, don't worry yeah. but I mean like I'm, I'm very curious because this is Bloodsport yeah so you, you know well, it's, it's coming from a good team like it's Valkyrie meets Gruff very true yeah see they were looking at Fusion going What's better? Gruff curry. <laughs> Let's go to Gruff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm starting to notice a wee bit of a pattern here when it comes to these fucking YouTube fights. Yeah. <coughs> wow. Fuck, this fight was so bad it gave me the Rona. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I'll say my usual spiel to, to Rampage. Your shit do better. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but 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 but, but seriously, right? South right. Um, South right. Yeah, a little South right. Because yeah, okay. well, I genuinely thought they could drive upside down because the back wheels look like, like this, they could no, touch no, the car. No, 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 no. This is the second time, right? Young Bean has come into this gladiator's place of death and went. I think I can make it. Yeah. He got killed by fusion. <laughs> he got killed by retrograde. Yeah. He may... Rise again. Rise again. <laughs> he might become yeah. McGruff. Um, yeah, because, I mean, like, it's uh, it's early doors for him in his robot fighting career. He certainly, to give him fair play, he is certainly further along in his robot fighting career at 16 than we were at fucking 16. <laughs> yeah. I was still building robots out of cardboard back then, and the argument could be made I've never stopped. <laughs> but... <laughs> well, Nexus is, is definitely something to contend yeah, with. Yeah, plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I better. Yeah, I skipped wood entirely. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> I just went straight to it. Um, but yeah, like, um, this is alright. Good, good job. Yeah, we'll, cl we'll, we'll do a okay. feet clap. Some guy. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but when does the real fight start? That was the real fight. Fuck my life. <laughs> so that was Battle Bot Season 6, Episode 5. Um, sorry. I liked it. What wasn't as good as last week? Nah, uh, as I say, I, I liked it. It was fun. I say, great. Shit good. No, meh. No, we have a meh. Meh? That's the middle meh. Uh, it's a meh. Okay, it's a meh. <laughs> it's a middle. Uh, nah. We have a middle, middle ground. Middle yeah, ground. That, that, that's sort of where but, we're but at. But that, that, that's, that's, that's all. Right, that's it for the drops on this week. We're, we're running late. 
We've got an appointment. We do. We're off to see Jackass tonight. Well, not tonight, because tonight's Sunday for you guys watching this on so the live stream. So we've seen it already. It was fucking um, great. It was. Yeah, it was class. I love that bit where they did the thing. And the other thing. Oh, so funny. Oh, it was great. Um, so but, many blood. But yeah, it's Friday night now, and we're, we're going to go watch Jackass yeah, now. Right, right. Um, we'll yeah, we'll have to leave the house in about five minutes. Yeah, we, we have to So, until next week, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a comment. You might get read out in the comment patrol Man. zone. Mm -hmm. I might ignore it, because I'm a fucking dick. Um, but yeah, until then, we'll see you all next time. Bring on the hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me! Did you break it? I broke the rest! Doctor. Kill it! <laughs> Kill it like the rest! It's food! Kill it like the rest! <laughs> fuck him! <'em. laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, the <laughs> That's a wrap. Fuck you, you whiplash bastard. You pushed the door at me.